at the Mayweather Boxing Gym, where Jesse Vargas readies for his April the 21st matchup against Adrian Broner on Showtime. First thing, Jesse, I want to talk about the implementation of the body snatcher, Mike McCallum. You've had a lot of trainers, but you've never had somebody that was as great a fighter as Mike McCallum. What has he brought to the uh, table for you? Well, I feel very fortunate that he was able to take on the task and come into training camp and, and, and train me. This is actually our second fight together, and for that reason, we feel that we have accomplished so much more in this short amount of time uh, of working together. So I, I'm very fortunate, very lucky, and he's a tremendous trainer. He has a lot of knowledge over the sport. Uh, he's able to uh, teach me a few things, uh, different techniques. Of course, the body snatcher was known for the major body shots, but not only that, he, know, he knew how to maintain his distance. His, the mental game was very important. He actually showed me how he saw the game during a fight, you know, how, how he saw every situation, whether his opponent was moving left, right, and um, how to react to any big punches. And, um, you know, all that helps. He knows exactly what I'm feeling also throughout every round, throughout every day. He says, all right, Jam, how you feeling? We have a daily conversation. How you feeling? Um, you know, you seem good, your energy seems perfect. And he is actually bringing me down from training a few times. Like, Jesse, I need you to bring it down a little bit. I know you have the energy, but I want you to be 100% uh, tomorrow as well. So let's bring it down a notch. And I like that about Mike, because he tells me, he's like, I've been there, Jesse, so I know exactly what you need. You're going to be fine. You're in great shape, and I am in the best shape of my career because of it. It's kind of good to, at this point in your career. You certainly know how to, to get in shape and stay in shape, and you know how to fight. But having a Hall of Famer, a guy like that, with so much skill, name a specific or two that we might see in your, your arsenal uh, against Broner that he's provided. You know, there's several things, but everyone's going to have to um, catch the fight on Showtime April 21st to see the, the difference that Mike McCullum has made. I will assure you that he has made a difference in my training camp, and you're going to see it You know, come April 21st. It's going to be a good fight, but the power is different, that's for sure. It's increased. Uh, the speed is... is, is very well the technique is going to be much better my mental game my focus i would say my mental focus is going to be much different because of mike mccullum broner's a guy that uh, obviously he's had some issues when guys put a lot of pressure on him is that uh, a big part of the game plan to apply consistent pressure to broner we have to maintain a lot of mental pressure you know and let him know that we're on we're on his case every minute of the fight every second of the fight and at any given moment that I want, I can I can unleash a six-eight punch combination. He will know that, and I think that's very important for him to know. And um, we're ready for whatever he wants to bring. Whether he wants to come and try to attack, we'll be able to put him back down uh, mentally and physically. And um, if he wants to try and outbox me, we have something for that as well. And you know, I have a great jab, great right hand, great hook. So I don't care what he's heard or what they have told him. He's gonna get hit with everything. You know, if it's not gonna be by a right, it's gonna be by a hook, and then the right hand will follow. I'm not worried much about what he's gonna do. I'm in shape. I have um, a diverse style, which I can do anything I want, any given moment. So it's gonna be a good night of boxing for me. You know, he's been beaten by uh, Garcia and Porter and Maidana, but but he's never been stopped. How important is it uh, with a stoppage win? And is that what you're looking for, to stop, become the first guy to stop Adrian Broner? It has came across my mind, but as a professional fighter, we have to stay focused and be prepared for a 12-round fight. If the knockout comes, then I'll take the shot. You know, I'll, I'll make sure to look for the opening and to create an opening. And the minute that I get it, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and connect with a nice right hand hook or jab. Um, but it's, it's in the back of my mind. But keep in mind also that we have to stay focused and know exactly of the strategy that we have. And that's, that's the plan right there. Just stay focused, um, stick to the game plan. And if the opportunity presents itself where I'm going to hit him with a big punch, then I'm going to take it and I'm going to give it to him. It's, harder, it's hard to get bigger than a, a fight with Manny Pacquiao. But I would think at this point in your career, this would have to be, because in that fight you were the underdog, I would think this has to be the most important fight of your career. Definitely. I agree. I mean... Your upcoming fight is always the most important fight in a fighter's career. That's the way I see it. This is a great opportunity, and I have to take advantage of it. There's a lot on the line, and I plan to, I plan to fully take advantage of it. I prepared for it, and we're looking forward to victory. And look into that camera and tell the folks what's going to happen against uh, Adrian Broner on Showtime. You're going to see a great matchup April 21st. You're going to be entertained, and I will come out with the victory. Please tune in April 21st on Showtime, and if you're in Brooklyn, New York, 
come out to the Barclays Center. Don't miss out. All right, best of luck. Thank you, Smitty. All right, thanks.